Hello friends, in this segment of Non-Programmers Emacs, I'm continuing the studying in Emacs theme, and this subject is going to be annotating text. So previously I've shown you how to do reading in Emacs, and all of the things I showed you in those videos were agnostic to the mode you were in and the file you were in. All of those commands worked anywhere. Today these features I'm showing you are going to be specific to org mode because org mode is a powerful mode in Emacs that among other things allows you to do text editing and formatting in some important ways. If you don't know about org mode I suggest you look into it. It's the Emacs equivalent of the office suite and it's extremely useful. I spend most of my time in org mode documents. So the first thing we're going to look at is marking text. So if you usually study via PDF files that allow you all kinds of highlighting and editing, you might take some adjustment to get used to what org mode offers. In terms of formatting text, it has a narrow selection of options here. There are about six ways that you can format text. So for instance, org mode being all plain text based, you can simply add these, these uh, markers. If you put an asterisk on both sides of something, it makes it strong. Likewise, you can make it italic, or you can underline. You can, get, you can also do this without the manual method with a shortcut key. And here I can just choose which marker I want to use. Now the nice thing about org mode is that it has extensive export options. This means that if I mark something up this way and then export it to HTML or a Word file or anything else, these, highlight, these emphasis options and these formatting options should export gracefully. They always have for me. So these kind of formatting might seem a little constraining if you're used to expansive options with all kinds of colors and whatnot via your PDF program or say an online scripture program. But I find that with principal juice, these six options are more than enough for my needs combined with what I'll show you next. So for instance, I usually use the asterisks or the bold face to mark key terms. I use the underline to mark, mark key passages. I use the italics to mark personal comments or thoughts or things that I find personally relevant. And if you have a system that works for you, then these six will get you quite a ways. Combine that with the functionality for footnotes and you really have a winning system. Org mode allows footnotes to be added that will link to some kind of uh, extensive comment and then easily carry you back and forth. So for instance, if I add one here, then I can easily just hop right back to where I was and then I can either just keep it this way. Now by default, org mode names these with the format you see here, FN and then a number, but you can change it as long as you change it in both places. But you can also put down a semicolon and put in some kind of a gloss here so that you know what the footnote's about. And this doesn't change the way that the footnote works. It's still, whoopsie. Wrong key. Okay. This doesn't change the way that the footnote works. It'll still go back and forth to where it was, but it changes what I can read in line right here. Okay, so that's footnotes, and they're extremely useful. The last feature I'll show you in org mode is related to this. It's linking. Links will look about the same, but they don't necessarily go to org mode buffers. They can, so for instance, if I just wanted to keep track of a location, I can insert the link I just made right here, and it will hop me to Matthew 1. But you can also make links anywhere else. So for instance, if I go to my buffer, to my, uh, let's say, my blog, I can just come back, stick that in a link, and we see it right here. Now these links have as an underlying structure um, a basic representation that gets cleaned up by org mode, but it's, it's simple. It's just brackets where everything's enclosed in one pair of brackets and the next pair of brackets will be the location and if there is an additional pair of brackets it will be the text you see. Like this. I show you that so that you can appreciate the, the final thing I'll show you right here. Well before I get to 
the, the final thing. I'm going to show you, uh, well, these links, they can be, as you see here, web pages, buffer locations, files on your hard system, on your, on your system, and it's possible to do quite a bit with them. Org mode recommends that you set up a few keystrokes that will work with any mode and allow you to save a link wherever you are. And then org mode has an extensive set of link handlers that can recognize different types of links. I'll demonstrate this with the final trick right here. Org mode also allows you to do inline images in this way. So suppose I'm seeing my directory structure and I have a JPEG file right here. I'm just going to save that link and go back to where I was. I'm going to insert that link. Now, nothing impressive so far, but what it's actually done here, you can do inline images if you make sure that the link you insert does not have a description part. So I'm deleting the second part, leaving only the portion that's here pointing to the file itself. And now I can make that an inline display. Now, it's nice for these kind of studies where I might preface a an article with an image and it will export that way as well so if I want it to export an image to a web page for instance it will work that way but this is especially useful if you're studying something with formulas or with graphs when these can actually be very meaningful images that are necessary for understanding the text so all of these examples I've shown you of annotation right here work in org mode which ships with Emacs and I strongly recommend you look into it if you haven't yet especially if you're a non-programmer, org mode is what you want. I can just about guarantee that. That said, please feel free to ask any questions in the comments below and check out the blog for more detailed instructions on how to accomplish what I showed you here. Cheers. Bye.